and do not be like those who forgot about Allah, so he made them forget about their own selves. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So today we were privileged to have one of our esteemed international speakers, our sister, Al-Ustadha Yasmin Mugahid, uh, who came to our school and visited us and gave a beautiful speech to the students. And it's been a while since I've seen students connect to someone on such a personal and heartfelt uh, level, subhanAllah. Uh, we gave them the opportunity to ask a lot of questions and the students seriously asked some questions that really matter to young people. Just wanted to touch on the last question. Do you, yeah. use, do you think the same type of method works with prayer as well? In with regards to what? Like when you're praying, you just feel like you're going through the motions. Ah, uh, good question. Same. Great question. So first thing I want to say is, um, imagine that you're not really feeling like breathing. Not feeling it. Or maybe you're in a place where the oxygen isn't the healthiest. Like maybe you took a trip to Cairo, right? And, and the, <laughs> the air isn't that clean in, in Cairo, is my point. Does that mean you stop breathing? So may Allah reward you, the parents, uh, our students, uh, and the entire staff at Australian International Academy. It was a pleasure uh, to host this event. It doesn't mean you'll never face fear and sadness in your life. You definitely will be tested with both fear and sadness. It is a natural part of life. However, here's the promise. If you hold on to the guidance of Allah, you will face storms, but you will never ever drown in your storms.